The patella tendon originates from the patella bone, goes to the tibial tuberosity and can be scanned in long axis and short axis view. So first we will scan the uh, long axis view, placing the transducer on the uh, patella uh, bone and we can assess the, um, the origin of the patella ligament. Make sure, because this is a very a famous spot, renowned spot for uh, uh, changes to the patella, uh, pathological changes uh, due to overloading, due to overuse injuries. Uh, and make sure that you scan really from medial to laterally uh, in order to obtain the most optimal view. So uh, what we want to see is a nice hyperechoic tendon. Um, the fibrillar pattern uh, should be seen uh, very well with parallel lines. And in this case, we can see that there is a little injury there. Uh, we can see a hypo slash anechoic zone in the middle of the tendon. So this seems to be a partial tear, a longitudinal tear of the, the origin of the patella tendon. So let's uh, follow the patella tendon to a distal. And then at this uh, point, we can see that uh, there is in the insertion of the patella tendon uh, to the bone. Underneath the patella, we can see the um, deep infrapatella bursa, which is uh, always there with a little bit of physiological fluid. But in case of a bursitis, you will see an enlargement of this um, uh, fluid. And here you can see the typical insertion to a smooth bone. Um, well, we check uh, the tendon for um, the shape. Has it thickened? Is it thin? Uh, echogenicity changes. Um, uh, is there a tear? If yes, is it a full tear or a partial tear? Well, in this case, it seems to be a partial tear. Um, and we can also check with a Doppler measurement to see whether there is any sign of neovascularization. The same assessment we can do in transverse view. So let's do that. We start on the uh, patella bone and then now we can see the, um, the width of the, uh, of the patella tendon and we can see actually that the, um, let me zoom in a little bit like that, uh, we can see that the partial tear is actually uh, very small, it's in the middle of the tendon it's not very wide, it's, it's long, but not very, not very wide. It's like a pinhole in uh, the tendon. And we can follow the tendon to distal. Here, the partial tear is already gone. And we can follow the tendon to the um, tibial bone. This is the tibia. And underneath the patella tendon, we see again some physiological flu fluid of the, um, the, the deep infrapatella bursa. And now we can see the insertion flowing into the bone to the tibial tuberosity.